Hello everybody and welcome back to Victoria where we have a minor deficit right now. It's <laughs> it's kind of large, I'll be honest. It's a little bit on the large side this deficit, but to be honest most of it is just our constructions. And we're going to have a huge amount of that done in 11 weeks. A huge amount of it done. There's a lot of government administration still in there to be sure, and those will need to be dealt with. For now, I don't want to start up a big war, not while we've got this sort of a deficit running. That would be, in my opinion, a bad idea. So we're not going to do that right now. We are instead just going to be chilling here for a moment. We could crank up our taxes. It's an option. What would that do to our legitimacy? We're at 89 right now? That would actually not change our legitimacy to an additional level. I think this is a good idea to crank up our taxes temporarily. We can think about turning them back down as we get our debt paid down. I just don't want that interest to work its way up. I mean, we're paying 184k in interest right now. That is actually fairly significant at this point. Yeah, 1.06 million. That's about where I expected to be. So we'll get this paid off in, you know, 160 weeks at this point. But that's fine. It'll go a lot faster as we get these constructions finished up. So that's great. We know that electricity is currently slightly expensive. And we do have this war ongoing over here. So that's definitely something. That should not take very long, though. Who do we have in here? We have Herbert Kitchener and we have Philip Shepard. But we have Alphonse Lloyd Lindsay who can be demobilized. Okay. That's 20? Sure. We'll do it. We'll demobilize this guy. That'll save us some money, I suspect, in the long run. Maybe. <laughs> we also don't need both of these now that this front is dealt with. So I'm going to do the same to Philip Shepard. There we go. Now, the rest of this we're probably not going to end up doing early demobilization on. Indeed. And that Panama purchase is still going on. That's fine. I'm not too concerned about that right now. Do we have any government administrations up here? No, but we're so close to getting all of this done. I think, yeah, we have government administrations underway right now. So there's no point in bringing government administrations up. That's fine. Let's check in on our infrastructure for the time being. Isfahan could definitely use plus, I'm going to do plus five here. The rest of that looks okay. Cool. So that's 23 weeks out. No big deal there. And we're going to get all these coal mines done in, well, this week. There we go. There's all those done. We've got wheat, wheat farms being built. We've got government administrations. We've got railways, opium plantations. But we're nearly done with what we had planned to go here. So that's great. I want to just double check here. Yep, that is all good to go. So we know that we're a little bit expensive on electricity, or we were expensive on electricity. What's going on with this market access? In Mansandaran. I don't recall seeing that in the list. Because it's new. Okay. We must have just finished up a bunch of constructions there. So we know that we need at least four railways there. Okay. That also might be a location we can build ports in. I don't know if the Caspian here is able to build ports, though. No. Probably because it's not connected. It's an inland sea. So I guess that makes some sense. That's fine for now. Cool. So 17 weeks, allegedly, on our construction queue. That's not necessarily real. But that's what it says here. It's not real. Concrete fortifications have been unlocked. That's great. And from there, of course, we want to go into our technology. We are working on mobile armor. Right. We had that auto queued up. Or not auto queued. We didn't automatically have it queued up. We queued it up to start automatically, is what I mean to say. Fantastic. So mobile armor will be great. That'll get us tank production. We're quite pleased about that, for sure. We're working on paying down this debt a little bit. We have 161k from unrealized taxes as well. We're actively working on that, and of course our infrastructure is causing us some issues as well. So let's get that all done for now. We can start thinking about going to war again. I'm thinking about going after these guys. Like, all of them. Unfortunately, we can't do, like... We, we can't declare war on all of them simultaneously. 
I wish we could, but we can only do one diplomatic play at a time, and we actually can't declare on them while this rebellion is ongoing. So we physically cannot declare war at this moment until these guys give up. I want to check in on our additional expenses, and yeah, it looks like those early demobilizations were possibly worthwhile. Now the Trucial Proles are starting a rebellion against us. Okay. We'll send Herbert Kitchener over there. If these would just go away. There we go. Okay. So we're going to advance this front over here. And I'm also going to... We don't have anybody super small. I'm going to bring Philip Shepard over here and Alphonse Lloyd Lindsay. This does mean that the early demobilization was wasteful. Which is sad. You are supposed to be going here. There we go. We have nobody coming here right now. I kind of don't want to raise another force. I think it'll be okay. Do we still have early demobilizations even though we remobilize those armies? Interestingly, we do. Okay, so that's good to know that that works that way. Cool. No one has sided with these guys against us, right? Yeah, no one has. I don't expect them to, but this will prevent us from declaring war on anyone, which I was definitely thinking about doing. We are going to get these government administrations done. We're very positive in our bureaucracy now, and that's just going to continue for the next little bit. This is some low construction efficiency here. Okay, good to know. Also very low over here. I'm not shocked about that, though. So that's all completely fine. We're definitely seeing this number dropping off. Oil and Kuban, though. We definitely want to do something about that. Oh, wow. 30. Okay, so we get plus 10. Beautiful. Oil is the future. We love it. Uh, and, until it isn't anymore. Until it isn't anymore. <laughs> but isn't that how everything is? It's the future until suddenly and very abruptly it isn't. Our GDP has contracted a little bit. I think that's probably due to our construction tapering off. Most likely, I think. Let's take a quick look at our railway. We have finished up a lot of construction. Okay, so we don't really need another railway in Isfahan. I think I'm going to build one anyway, though. And we definitely do need one in Aleppo. Okay, so we'll just get those two building. Nothing too major there. So that all looks good. And the oil rigs in Kuban, those will be done in 12 weeks. Sure. So this is saying 22 weeks, 21 weeks on our construction queue now. Again, I don't think that's necessarily true because of these 120 weeks on in FARS. The construction efficiency there is getting better. So that's very, very good. It'll never be ideal because of the mountains, but that's fine. So we're going to be finishing up our railways in Isfahan right now. That's great. And beyond that, we've got a bunch of slow stuff building. So that is, I guess, fine. We are about to have this war take off here. We don't really care about bringing anybody else in. This is fully under control, right? We have no problems here. But what we are definitely thinking about doing is launching some attacks down over here. Maybe even kicking out Portugal from their various locations. They're very angry at us. That's not shocking. Everybody's very angry at us. I mean, have you seen this infamy? <laughs> Everybody's exceptionally angry at us. No doubt about that. The war with the Trucial Proletarian Revolt has broken out. And, of course, this is not going to take very long. This is under control. I'm going to now move Herbert Kitchener over to this front here. So we're progressing all three fronts now. Perfect. There we go. And now there's only two fronts. I'm not going to bother with early demobilizations this time. These guys are going to be quick enough that it's not going to be worthwhile. So we're not going to do those. We are just going to keep our troops up for now. 150k in interest right now. We're definitely working down our debt. That's good. I mean, we could really crank our... We're 84 right now. We could crank our taxes if we really wanted to. And pay off this debt quite quickly. I don't think it's worthwhile, though. So I think we'll just hover here for the moment. We have very little actually still being constructed here. We have a few government administrations, which are really not very necessary. We have railways that are mildly necessary. And we have ports that are not very necessary. Those are slowly being worked on, but they're going to be a little bit. No doubt about that. 
So I think that we should start thinking about launching some attacks out over here. I think that'll be absolutely fine. What's going on in the U.S. over here? Oh, okay. They've got a proletarian revolt of their own. Well, I wish them luck with that. This is this did not go well for the U.S., that's for sure. Just generally over here. I'm thinking about conquering the U.S. right now. I mean, we don't have a lot of time. So we probably can't directly do that. Okay, so we're out of that war. Wonderful. I want to conquer state in Buganda, and we'll see if anybody joins in. Prussia may, but they don't actually have a way to get here. So we'll confirm this, and I'm just going to send Herbert Kitchener over here. That is the only one. And of course, it's just a singular state, so that puts us at 209. Yeah, that's fully expected. Everybody's abandoning the Netherlands. Okay. I wish them luck with that. Russia might think about joining Buganda here. As might Prussia. So we've got Russia and Prussia. But honestly, they can't do anything about this. Like, they literally can't do a single thing. There's nothing they can do about it. So that's great. We're very happy about that. We're going to continue to pay down our debt and get these constructions finished up. We've got our government administration wrapping up in four weeks here. And railways wrapping up pretty soon, too, actually. This is going very well. We're going to have those done very soon. No, we're not going to help other people. That would be insane. We're Britain. We don't do that. Certainly not in this era. Rwanda sided with Buganda. That. That is good for us. Because we can, of course, come in here... And we can add a war goal to conquer state Rwanda. Perfect. So that, of course, means that we have two fronts here. So I'm going to send Alphonse Lloyd Lindsay out over here. Wonderful. Nobody can get here other than us, right? So there's literally nothing they can do other than have other Great Lakes nations. I use the term nations very loosely here. Have other Great Lakes nations hop in here. The Marina Kingdom. Where is this? Oh, that's Madagascar. Okay. Okay, we can definitely work with that. So we are, of course, going to do this here. We're going to add a war goal to conquer state, South Madagascar, and add a war goal to conquer state, North Madagascar. Wonderful. Always good to have more friends joining the fray. So we're going to launch ourselves a naval invasion of the Marina Kingdom as soon as this war breaks out. Cool. If they want to keep joining, we'll keep conquering stuff. We don't have a problem with that. So this seems completely fine. We can add additional war goals, which, of course, there aren't any to add. But if anyone else decides to join, that would be nice. Anybody else? There's a whole bunch of people leaning over here. But they can't get here, remember. They absolutely cannot get here. All they can do is start up other fronts, and we can just set up defensive lines on those fronts. And with our fancy new concrete, there's really nothing they can do. Manchu people are migrating from Russia to our territory. I like it. That is, of course, magnificent. And we're going to have our ports done here. And we're only working on ports right now. Okay, that seems absolutely fine. We're paying down our debt. We're nearly down below 100 million in debt. That's great. So far, nobody's actually joined this that matters. We'll see if they do. So far, nothing. And we've got 50 maneuvers. So if they do join, well, we'll look to take some of their stuff. That'll be the idea here. So I think this is an interesting way to proceed. We just keep getting our infamy higher and higher and higher and higher by declaring these little pointless wars and then seeing who else joins... So we can take that stuff, too. It's an interesting way to expand into the great powers. Very interesting indeed. We're very negative in our authority right now. What happened there? I guess we could cut one of our consumption taxes. Probably glass. That one does make sense to cut. 
we should probably consider cutting luxury furniture as well. That does cut our income fairly dramatically, and none of these guys actually end up joining, so this is fine. We're completely okay here. The patriotic party, huh? Okay, well, the Communist Party is going to win. The Communist Party is doing exceptionally well. There's no doubt about that. Our GDP is continuing to flatline a little bit. This is due to our construction. We're largely... Oh, Azerbaijan oil. Can we get any of that? Yes, we can. Oh, that is a lot of oil. 23? I love it. Get going on that instantly. That is a lot of oil rigs in Azerbaijan. Perfect. Encourage that trend. Oil is the future. War with Buganda has broken out, which of course means that Philip Shepard... Hmm. We had the general that we mobilized die on us, didn't we? Philip Shepard was not the general that we had mobilized. Okay. So we're going to mobilize him, and we're going to go launch a naval invasion of North Madagascar here with Philip Shepard. Philip Shepard. Okay. There we go. So eventually we'll get there. And of course we're going to have no problem whatsoever pushing into Rwanda and Baganda. Right? That's not going to be an issue. We're definitely seeing our income dwindle a little bit. I'm not shocked about that. We have this war ongoing. We have additional construction ongoing as well. And we just dropped some consumption taxes. So I'm not shocked about any of that, to be honest. We have an election in 150 days. That seems fine for the time being. And these ports are going to be done in the eventual times. There's a bourgeois revolt against us. Bourgeois, I should say. Where is this? Where are these guys? I don't even know where these are. Oh, out over here. Okay. That's exciting. So, I don't think we're going to respond to this with anything at this exact moment. Because we're going to be through Rwanda extraordinarily quickly here. And we can send one of these two forces over there. And then the other one can go reinforce in Marina. That'll be the idea. So, that sounds fine. We should be done over here quite soon. Yeah, this is going absolutely fine. Yes. No issue whatsoever here. When are we going to launch this naval invasion? Three, two, one, zero days. Okay. So we're fighting off enemy interception here. That's cute. Okay. Mexico has sided with these guys against us. How strong is Mexico? Not tremendously. I'm going to send John French out over to the Mexican front here. We may send more. But for now, that's absolutely fine. Momentum added to the Patriotic Party? Uh, sure. That seems okay. And then we've, of course, got this here. And we can add war goals. Oh, we can't add war goals to this. Right. We're just going to have to defend against Mexico. It should be fine. We'll see how many forces we need to send over there. Mexico has begun conscription. Okay. Oil discovered in the West Indies. Encourage that trend. Oil is the future. What do we got? Two? Okay. Well, it's better than nothing. Cool. We do need to finish up these battles over here, of course. And we are making our landing in North Madagascar. So Honduras has also sided with them. Okay. That's part of this same front, I think. That's yeah, mildly awkward. Okay. We're going to send Alphonse Lloyd Lindsay out over here. There we go. So at least he's on his way. He should get there before this breaks out, right? I think. We'll see. And we'll see what these numbers end up looking like. We might need more, but probably not. Mm, that's a pretty expensive pipeline. No, thank you. So how are we doing on breaking into Madagascar? We are about to do so. Phenomenal. And we still have Herbert Kitchener working his way through Buganda over here. 
Cool. So let's make our way on in. There we go. And we have a front over here now. So with that beachhead, we should have no problem conquering Madagascar. No issue whatsoever there. I'll send Herbert Kitchener, I think, over to this front. West Indies Pipeline. Hmm. That's a pretty cheap pipeline. I'm not going to do it, though. Cool. I do want to check in on infrastructure. So let's do that real quick here. What do we got going on? Okay, we could definitely use some infrastructure in quite a number of locations. We'll do something about like that. That will eat into our income, but that's fine. No major issues there. We're going to be wrapping up this war pretty soon. And that will also eat into our income, for the record. No doubt about that. Arriving here in two days, one day, and in zero days. So that gives us an advantage there. Rwanda capitulated. So this territory is now ours, and we should come in and do reset production methods. There we go. We can also go through, there are no agricultural locations to build in Rwanda, but we do have coal mines that we can build. Okay, we also have nothing else. Okay, well, we'll build a couple of coal mines anyway. That'll be fine. So that seems absolutely okay. Why do we have a motor industry here? I guess this is already being built by not us. I'm going to cancel these barracks. The motor industry, I'm going to cancel that as well. If we need more motor industries, we'll build it. I'm not too concerned. So we should be wrapping up here shortly. Yes. This is broken out into two fronts. I see. Okay. Let's send you to this front. Okay. This one should get wrapped up very quickly. The war with the religious revolt has broken out, and we've not arrived over here yet. That's mildly annoying. We're probably... Oh, we did arrive at the end there. And we're holding. Look at that! 301 defense. That's insane. <laughs> that is absolutely insane. I'm not sure what's going on in this attack here. I think we're attacking them. We are. We're winning that, though, so that seems absolutely fine. I'm not concerned about that. Questionable practices, huh? Hmm. We can actually afford losing bureaucracy here. The rising of the women, huh? Dependent enfranchisement, and apparently the women like the patriotic party? Who is even involved in the patriotic party? The armed forces. It's, it's, it's just the armed forces. Whatever. <laughs> okay, that seems fine. So we're, of course, going to get this war wrapped up, or these wars, I should say. Buganda has now capitulated. So that, of course, means that we need to come in here as well, and we need to reset production methods here. And we need to take a look. No agriculture to be built, and just some rubber plantations in Uganda. Okay. I guess that's fine. We'll get those built. And I did see a port somewhere. Hmm. This would be buggy if I were to turn that on. Okay. We're not going to do that then. Seems fine. So we're going to continue to press through up over this way. Looks completely fine. They are resisting us to some degree, but it's not a problem. And then over here, we are, of course, successfully defending. They just don't have the stats to hold us off. So the Communist Party won with 51.9% of the vote. We can reform the government to 94 righteous government. I love it. Do it. That is amazing. So that will, of course, work our way down the radicalism nicely as we get these areas conquered. What is the population here? Five million? Not bad. Not bad. They're also impoverished, so we'll work on that. Okay, so this front is nearly eliminated, but it's not gone yet. As far as this down over here goes, we're still on the defensive on that fight, and we're, of course, on the offensive over here. And we win that very easily. No shockers there. Beautiful. Mexico's not going to want to be involved in this for too much longer. That's for sure. But I do want... Oh, this battle's happening way up over here. Okay, that's exciting. I do want Madagascar to capitulate soon. 
and that will happen very soon. They're going to go down below zero pretty soon. Beautiful. So that looks fine. We'll have them fully occupied shortly. And of course, down over here, we're at negative 40 here. But we're actually succeeding in attacking them. I'm not sure why the war balance or the, the disadvantage here is minus 45. We appear to be winning on offense and defense. I think it's just troop count. If I had to guess. So let's wrap up this over here. Yeah, that battle's still on the way. That'll be a bit yet. But Marina is definitely dropping down in their acceptance. They're down to minus 48 reasons now. So that's looking great. No problems whatsoever there. This is a minus 55. It has to be just due to troop count, right? Yeah, almost certainly down to troop count. We have better troops. No doubt about that. But they have more troops here. Battleships have been unlocked. Cool. We can definitely turn those on. Wonderful. That seems absolutely fine. We've got some market access issues here. We can definitely take a look at our infrastructure. We could use one in Uganda. We could use one in Aleppo. And one in Senegal. I'll build one in Moonster as well. Cool. So that all looks fine. We have a third front here. Remarkable. Okay, that's kind of getting nutty over there. Now, this is our attack out over here. Yeah, this is definitely just a numbers issue at this point. We could send reinforcements here. And we're on the attack up over this way, too. We may not want to be. I don't know. I want to wrap this up over here, though. So, let's get this war done, or rather this battle done. We're just slowly progressing down through Marina. Are they willing to... Actually, they're willing to bail on this war. So, we'll do that. Magnificent. That is excellent. And from there, of course, we can send... Do we have reinforcements heading out over here now? No. So, Philip Shepard should be coming here. Definitely. As should Herbert Kitchener. We definitely need reinforcements out over here. So we'll get those in. They'll be about 60 days away. Hopefully they'll get there before anything bad happens. I suspect that they will. We also, of course, need to reset production methods in North and South Madagascar. And let's take a look at what resources we have available there right now. Whaling stations. That's fine. Fishing wharves. Cool. Logging camps. That's good. Actually, let's sort by status here. There we go. That'll make things easier. Yeah, logging camps. I like it. Lots of coal mines available there, too. Beautiful. As far as agriculture goes, there's some of that available. We could certainly think about... Tea is a pretty attractive option here. Yeah, let's go for tea. After all, we're British. There we go. So that'll be good. We are losing money, of course, because of all this construction. That's deeply unsurprising. And construction efficiency is going to be low in Madagascar. But that's okay. No problem whatsoever. Now, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to crush Mexico, Honduras, and... What are these guys called again? The Mosquito Religious Revolt. Okay, we're going to swat them like the mosquitoes that they apparently are. I, that, that's, that's a different word. But whatever. <laughs> you can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Andy McGar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Sockerman 12 UK, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.